Have you heard of, Caminito del Rey? Would you like to do, the Caminito del Rey Trail? Not sure if Caminito del Rey is right for you? Do you have vertigo and fear of doing the Caminito del Rey? Feel like visiting Caminito del Rey and don't know where to start? Then this video is just for you. This trail is simply epic. You may have seen it in photos on several occasions and think you know what to expect on your visit. But no matter how many times you've seen it, once you get to the place and see it for the first time, it's impossible not to express a wow. The route of the Caminito del Rey is one of the most famous in the province of Malaga, but also in the whole of Spain. You will be able to see one of the most spectacular landscapes of the Malaga mountain range, with steep walls and considerable height. The river Guadalhorce flows through this area after passing through the reservoirs of El Choro, Guadalteba, and Gate Nejo. Caminito del Rey proposes a non-circular route, so you enter through a different entrance from the one you exit at the end. These accesses are known as Acceso Sur and Acceso Norte del Caminito del Rey. Previously, you could enter and exit through either of the two accesses. Nowadays, it is mandatory to enter through the north access and finish the tour through the south access. So, your objective will be to reach the north entrance. In the end, north access in El Choro there is buses to return you to your car, cost less than 2 euros. To get to the start of the trail, the Caminito del Rey car park in Ardales from Malaga, the quickest way is by car, taking the A357 and then the MA5403 until you reach Ardales. Don't worry, you'll find signs along the way to the entrance to Caminito del Rey. Count on a trip of about an hour to cover the 60 kilometers between Malaga and Ardales. The history of Caminito del Rey. This is a trail built by former dam workers in the Gaitanas Gorge in El Choro, Spain. The Caminito del Rey was built at the beginning of the 20th century, between 1903 and 1905, and served as access to workers during the construction of the El Choro Dam, but also for its subsequent maintenance. After Caminito del Rey was created, one of the engineers decided to take his friends to visit it and with the growth of visits, the canyon began to become more and more popular. In 1921, King Alfonso XIII crossed the Caminito del Rey to reach the Guadalhorce, Guadalteba dams, to proceed with its inauguration. The path was so steep and dangerous, but at the same time so fabulous, that it would henceforth be known as Caminito del Rey. Over the years, Caminito del Rey fell into disrepair and was abandoned, letting time destroy its infrastructure. The iron of Caminito del Rey was rotting, the cement cracking and falling, and the rocks that fell from the slopes made it more and more dangerous. However, in the 90s, the eyes of more adventurous travelers showed Caminito del Rey to the world, and it began to be visited by explorers, bold and fearless travelers. From then on, Caminito del Rey was shrouded in controversy, especially when some of them died in accidents. Therefore, in 2001, the Board of Andalusia decided to close Caminito del Rey and it remained so for almost 15 years. However, the beauty of Caminito del Rey has not been forgotten, and in 2015, it was reopened to the public, completely renovated and in safe conditions. The reopening of Caminito del Rey was so awaited that Lonely Planet included it in one of the most incredible places to visit that year. The official route of Caminito del Rey is 7.7 kilometers. It is a route suitable for the vast majority of people, without the need for great physical fitness. Fast-paced travelers can complete it in just two hours. Those who want to go with maximum peace of mind should reserve around four hours of time to walk along Caminito del Rey. Tickets for this tour have a limited daily capacity and, therefore, it often happens that on the day I already had in mind to visit this place, there are no tickets available. Therefore, we advise you to book your ticket as far in advance as possible. To do so, you must access its official website. 